So for today's project I've got a uh, digitizer knob out of a Sony Type-C video machine. I think this is kind of a nice device because you can use it in just about any project where you need precise uh, control over some electronic value or digital value using a, a knob. It's nice because it's sort of arbitrary what you can make it do. You can uh, control what I'm doing. I'm controlling counters which control a digital to analog converter so I've made a variable power supply. But you could use it to control a varactor tuned radio, you could use it to control the position of stepper motors or servos or to uh, as a data control input on a computer or um, oscilloscope or anything you, you want. The nice thing about this particular one is that it has a clutch, an electric clutch on it and so I thought I would set it up so that um, as my counters reach full or empty, so you know when the system is at the top or bottom of its range, it engages the clutch on the knob, which gives it a nice feel because it's it's like a um, an arbitrary end turn pot, but you can make it stop at the ends of travel, or if you want, you can have it not stop. Anyway, you can see on the vacuum tube voltmeter there, we're at zero volts, so it's at the bottom of its travel. Just as a little demo, I'll I'll operate it a bit. Right now it's it's clutched at zero, but if I give it a bit of a turn, it, it, it's completely free. You can probably hear the ticker I've got hooked up. So for every pulse I get, I have an audible click, so I can sort of tell where it's at. And it's a quite it's quite accurate over a large range. You can see as I turn the hell out of it, it's very slowly, slowly making it up the, the way. So we're at 2 volts, 3 volts, 4 volts, where's 4, 4 and a half, hitting 5, which is the limit of my supply, and you're going to notice that when I get to 5, it locks. So now it's stuck, but it lets me unlock, so very nice sort of operation. It has a great feel to it, nice tactile response and I can use it in just about anything, so hopefully we'll see more projects with uh, this particular control in it. I'll just bring it back down to zero here and you can see that it locks on the other end of its travel. Very slow in the way I've got it set up right now to get to one end of the scale, but there it is. See you later.